Hello and welcome to this week's class. Today we're going to start the class lying down. So you can just lie down on your mat. Bring the palms of your feet together and then just let your knees um, open on each side. And also take the time to adjust your upper back. So just maybe push yourself a little bit forward in your mat towards your head so that you're both your shoulder blades are touching the mat. And then you can just grab your elbows and bring them over your head. So just gently here, opening the shoulders. Opening the hips. You can keep your eyes closed for this first part. You can gently start establishing a rhythm of breath through your nose, taking nice deep inhales, breathing in throughout the spine, and exhaling also gently through the nose and releasing any tensions. You may feel either physically, emotionally, mentally, And also, if this is something you'd like to do, you can also maybe set an intention for your class. It can be just one word or a short sentence. You can switch out the elbows now. So if you had one hand on top, just basically make the reverse, grab your elbows in the reverse way and continue the relaxation. So your intention may be it's just something that you, you need right now in your life. And throughout this class, if you find the mind is kind of going elsewhere, you can Come back to the present moment using the breath and also just gently reminding yourself of that intention. Okay, so you can release the arms. If you need to use your hands to bring up the knees back. Okay, and then you can just grab your thighs above your knees and just start rocking your body back and forth a couple times. If you can bring your feet all the way back onto the floor over your head, that's great. And then on the last roll, just come into seated position, cross your legs, transition onto all fours. Make sure that your hands are directly below your shoulders, spread all 10 fingers. And then you can just stand up. So if your hands can't touch the ground here, you can always bend the knees. And what I want you to do is just rock back and forth here, just to get some motion, to feel what it's like to transition the weight from your feet to your hands. So this is a motion that's very important when you're doing the sun salutations, moving forward again. And then when you're ready, just bring your feet between your hands. If you want, you can grab your elbows and just shake everything out. Let the head hang loose, shoulders loose. Again, either keeping the legs extended or the knees bent, or if you want to just bend one knee at a time, to just, you know, gently put oil into the machine that is your body. <laughs> okay. And when you're ready, you can let go of your elbows. Keep the back rounded and contract your abs. And on an inhale, gently, gently make your way all the way up, unraveling the spine one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last as always. And 
once you're up, you can just roll your shoulder back, shoulders back a couple times. And let's begin with a sun salutation. So inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, bend from the hips straight back, hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, hands down and walk back into plank. Inhale here. And on the exhale, chaturanga, bending, keeping the elbows close to the body, chest touches the mat first. Inhale into a cobra, keeping the pelvis on the floor. Exhale, tuck the toes, stay on the knees and just go back into child's pose. Extend the arms forward, shoulder width, elbows off of the ground, arms extended, Roll the shoulder blades out from one another and shoulders away from the ears. Keep the hips on the heels if you can. And on an inhale, come back up onto all fours, tuck the toes, and go back into downward facing dog. And you can just bend one knee at a time, again, doing what you need to warm up the body gently. Then extending both legs, pointing your tailbone towards the sky, navel towards the spine, long spine, flat back, your chest opening your heart towards your mat, shoulders away from the ears, you're looking towards your belly button. Now on the inhale, just gently walk your feet forward until they are between your hands. Inhale, do a flat back, shoulders towards the sky. Exhale, hands on the mat, forehead towards the knees. Inhale, stretch all the way up, palms together, look up, and exhale, bring the arms down. So now we're gonna do another type of sun salutation, which is more like a classic Hatha sun salutation. So keep your feet hip width. And when you inhale, I want you to stretch the arms forward this time. Follow your hands with your eyes. Exhale, try to do a little back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend forward. Bending from the hips as usual, hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale into a flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, hands down and bring the right leg back, right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, bring both arms up, and as you exhale, just stay in place. So your left leg, the knee should be directly over the, uh, uh, the heel, and the right leg, you're stretching the front part of the right leg into the psoas and the quadricep. Hips forward, chest up and back. Relax the shoulders, but keep the arms against the ears if you can. Inhale, stretch up one last time. Exhale, bring the hands forward, tuck the right toes, and bring the left foot back. Now bring both of your feet together. You're now in Tadasana. It's like a variation of the downward facing dog. It's just called mountain pose. Inhale, bend both knees, bring them on the mat. Exhale, bring the chest on the mat between your hands. Untuck the toes, inhale into a cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and go back into mountain pose. So that's downward dog with the feet together. Take a deep inhale, stretch the right leg up, point the toes. And as you exhale, going to push up position and bring the right foot between the hands at the front of your mat. Left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Inhale, bring both arms up. And as you exhale, stay in place. Make sure your right knee is not beyond your right heel. Hips parallel, pushing the hips forward, right? So not overly arching your lower back. Chest up, arms up, shoulders relaxed. One last inhale here. And as you exhale, bring the hands forward. Tuck the left toes and bring the left foot forward. Very good. Now bend your knees, and grab your heels from behind. Make sure that your body is fully stuck onto your thighs. 
inhale, stretch the coccyx up, and on the exhale, stretch your upper body downwards. So you're trying to make a sandwich basically with your body. Make sure that there is no gap. So you're bending, you're folding the body like a piece of paper. So keep your knees bended as much as you need to. Keep your shoulders relaxed, even though you're kind of pulling on your heels here. And on the inhale, you can just bend the knees, extend the arms forward, and come all the way up. Exhale, do a little back bend, keeping the arms with the ears. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, again, bend from the hips, straight back. Hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale, upper body parallel to the floor. Exhale, hands down, left foot back this time. Left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Inhale, lift both arms up to a low lunge again. Exhale into place. Make sure your tailbone is pointing towards the mat. Belly button towards the spine. Inhale, chest up, arms up, but the shoulders are away from the ears. One last inhale, and as you exhale, bring the hand forward, tuck the left toes, bring the right foot back into mountain pose, feet together. Inhale. Bring both of the knees on the mat. Exhale, bring the chest on the mat between the hands. So your bum is like pointing towards the sky. Inhale into a cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and go back into mountain pose. Inhale, stretch the left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, Go into push-up position and bring the left foot between the hands, right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch both arms up, and exhale again in place into a low lunge. Pushing the hips forward, sucking the stomach in, chest up, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, stretch up one last time, and as you exhale, bring both hands forward, between your, your, the front foot, exactly, tuck the right toes, and then bring the right foot forward. And just bend forward. Again, bend the both knees and grab your heels from behind. Bend your knees as much as you need to to keep your abdomen stuck against your chest. And then on your next inhale, try starting to extend the legs without losing the contact between your abdomen and your thighs. And when you exhale, stretching the upper body downwards towards the ground. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Even though you're pulling on your, he on your uh, heels. Make sure you keep a nice breath regular through the nose. And now on the next inhale, bend the knees. Stretch the arms forward and come all the way up. Exhale, do a back bend. Keep the arms with the ears. Inhale, come back up straight. Exhale, bend from the hips, straight back, hands on the mat, forehead towards the knee. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, bring both arms up. On the exhale, do a back bend. Inhale, come back into straight position. Now exhale, bring both hands forward, leave the right hand below the right shoulders and stretch the left arm up. Now bend the right knee and try to grab your right foot with your left hand and just do a nice gentle twist here. Remember to contract the muscles between your thighs, pushing the left hip forward, right hip backwards, twisting from the navel. Now gently release both hands forward and step the left foot back into Tadasana, mountain pose, feet together, right? In the downward dog position. Now inhale, stretch the right leg up, toes pointed, stabilize the hands, keep the hips parallel to the mat. One last inhale, stretch the right leg up, and on the exhale, go into push-up position and bring the right foot between the hands. Bring the left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. 
Inhale, stretch both arms up. Exhale, do a slight back bend. Inhale, come back to a straight position. Exhale, both hands forward on each side of the foot. Now keep your left hand on the mat below your shoulder. Bend the left knee. And with your right hand, grab the left foot. And do a nice twist here. Make sure you're not opening the right knee so your knee and your ankle on the right leg is stacked. Looking upwards, twisting from the navel, breathing through the nose. Gently release, bring the right hand forward. And as you exhale, bring the left foot forward. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat, forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch both arms up, come up. Exhale, do a back bend. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, go back down, flat back, hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch both arms up. Exhale, twist to your right. Now, if you can, bring your right hand backwards to try to touch your heel. And then stretch your left arm up, palm towards the mat, and just look up, stretch up. So you're pushing the heels forward, pushing the chest back. On an inhale, come back up gently. Exhale, sway the arms forward, tuck the left toes, and bring the right foot back into mountain pose. Good job. Excellent. On an inhale, stretch the left leg up. Stretch it up as high as you can. Toes pointed, keeping the hips parallel to the mat. Pushing all ten fingers into the mat. Okay. One last inhale. Stretch the leg up. And on the exhale, bring the left foot between the hands at the top of the mat. Right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch both arms up to the sky. Exhale, now twist to your left, arms parallel. Stay here, or with your left hand this time, try and go and grab your right heel. Very good. Stretch the right arm up, palms facing back or towards the floor. And again, you're pushing the hips forward, but stretching your chest up and back. And on an exhale, just sway the arms forward gently between the front foot and on an exhale bring the right foot forward. Very good. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale bend the knees, stretch the arms forward and up into standing. And on the exhale just bring the arms down to the side. Woo! Good job! Now let's work our balance and our quadriceps, okay? So bring your arms parallel to the floor. Stretch the arms forward. And as you exhale, go down into an imaginary chair. Now make sure that your feet, your knees are at the same width as your hips. Try to bring your chest and your shoulders up and backwards and tip your tailbone towards the ground so you're not sticking your bum out too much. You're not arching your lower back, I should say. Right? And on an inhale, just come back up. Second part, come as high as you can on the tips of your toes as if you were wearing high heels. And on the exhale, go back down into the imaginary chair. So you're pushing your heels forward. All the weight is only on your toes. So you're also stretching your toes here. Keep the back as straight as possible. Stretch the arms forward. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, shoulders down. Suck your belly in to keep your balance. Very nice. Inhale, come back up on the toes. Exhale, bring the feet down. Last part, keeps your arms up, triceps contracted. Now bring your knees together and don't remove them. Your knees are stuck together and as you exhale, bring all of your body down. And I want you to stop when you have about a hand's distance between your heels and your bum. And just stay there. Try to push your knees down towards the mat. And as you inhale, come up, keeping the knees together, trying to keep a straight back. Exhale, 
hands down and feet down. Okay, let's do another sun salutation. So inhale, stretch the arms forward and up. Exhale, back bend, keeping the arms with the ears. Inhale, come back to standing. Exhale, bend from the hips, hands on the mat on each side of the feet, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, right foot back. Don't put the knee on the mat here. Inhale, bring both arms up so we're in a high lunge now. Very good. And as you exhale, pivot the right foot and bring the heel on the mat. Stretch your arms parallel to the floor. So you are in warrior two now. Congratulations. <laughs> so your arms are parallel to the floor. Shoulders relaxed. Make sure that your body is, your upper body is perfectly perpendicular to the floor. And here you're really trying to open the hips. It's like you're opening the pages of a book. Your right knee should be directly over your right ankle. Now you can just pivot your arms and try to bring your left elbow in front of your right knee. So now we are in Parjavakonasana, triangle. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale in position and extend the front leg. Inhale, stretch up, and as you exhale, bring the left arm down, right arm up. So now we're just into Uttita Trikonasana, which is another version of the triangle, but with both legs extended. Pushing the pelvis forward, chest open. Inhale, come back up to standing. Exhale, go back into warrior two. Inhale. As you exhale, bring both hands forward and the left foot back. So you're in mountain pose again now. Inhale, stretch the right leg up, bend the right knee, and open the hips as much as you can. You can stay here, or you can try to flip your dog into a rock star. So bring your left leg on the floor and open the chest. Bring your right arm over and up palm facing down, pushing the chest upward, stretch out that left leg, very nice. And on an exhale, bring the right arm, hand back on the mat and go back into your three-legged downward dog. And as you exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Inhale, bring both arms up into a high lunge on the other side. Exhale, pivot the left heel on the mat into warrior two on the other side. Very good. Relax your shoulders, belly button towards the spine, so not overarching the lower part of your back, tailbone pointing towards the ground. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, you can bring your right elbow in front of your right knee. So Parshvakonasana on the other side, pushing the right hip forward and you're just making sure that the knee is directly on top of your heel for the right leg. Look up, open the chest, twisting the spine, left leg completely extended. Take a nice inhale, come back into warrior two and extend the, the right leg. Inhale, as you exhale, stretch to the right and just sway the arms, right hand towards the mat in front of your leg, left arm up. And you're twisting the spine and looking upwards towards the sky, keeping the hips parallel as much as possible. Inhale, come back to standing, arms parallel. Exhale, bend the right knee into warrior two. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring both hands forward between the right foot, and then exhale, bring the left foot forward, and just bend forward here gently. Inhale, bend the knees, stretch the arms forward, come all the way up again. Exhale, back bend, keeping the arms with the ears. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, bend from the hips, hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, exhale, hands down, left foot way back, 
Don't bring the knee on the mat. <laughs> Inhale, bring both arms up to the sky in a high lunge. As you exhale, bring your hands in prayer in front of your chest. Now inhale, and as you exhale, twist to the right. Try to bring your left tricep on the outer part of your right knee and keep your hands in namaskar in front of your chest. It's okay if you're having trouble balancing here, it's perfectly normal. Now on an inhale, come back up to, an, to a uh, high lunge. Exhale, bring the arms, hands on the mat between your front foot. And on the exhale, bring the left, the right foot back, sorry, right foot back. <laughs> Inhale, stretch the left leg up, bend the knee, and open the hips on the other side. So you can stay here, or you can do go into the rock star like we did on the other side. So you just want to bring your right foot as high up as possible, and then bring your left arm over and up. The palm of your hand facing the mat, stretching your chest up keeping the right leg completely extended. And on your next exhale, bring the left hand below the left shoulder, back into your three-legged downward dog. Inhale here. And as you exhale, bring the left foot forward between your two hands. Inhale, stretch both arms up into a high lunge on the other side. Exhale, bring the hands in front of your chest and namaskar. Inhale here, and as you exhale, now twist to the left. And again, try to bring your right tricep on the outside of your left knee. And just twisting here. Contract the muscles between your thighs to sustain yourself. Inhale, come back into a high lunge. Arms up, stretch up. Exhale, bring the hands forward on the mat and right foot forward. Just relax your head here. Bend the knees. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And exhale, bring the hands down to each side. Fantastic. Let's move our way into onto the mat, into more deep stretches here. So into a warrior squat, you can just spread your legs as much, or your feet rather, as much as you feel you need to. Bring your hands and namaskar in front of your chest. And as you exhale, bend down, keep your heels on the mat. Try to bend all the way down. If not, just stop wherever you're feeling it. That's all good. If you can, bring your triceps inside of your knees to kind of help yourself get that little extra stretch. And you can just feel, you know, what it's like maybe to move and Transfer your weight a little bit in this position as well, working on your balance in this yogi squat, malasana. <laughs> okay, so from here we're going to play a little bit. So you can just bring your hands on the mat below your shoulders, stretch out your legs because we are going to try out crow. Yes. So stretch all your 10 fingers. Make sure uh, that your weight is distributed in all of your fingers, and then bring your knees as close as possible to your armpits. And from there, the trick is really to just balance out the weight in all of your fingers. You wanna try to bring your heels as close as possible to your buttock, and if you can, try to extend your arms. And just do what you can here. The idea is to just be playful. <laughs> And from this position, you can go back into your uh, yogi squat, into malasana. Take your time. Maybe you're going to notice that, uh, oh, it's a little feels a little easier second time around. Using the breath. And see if you can just, without using your hand, go into seated position from here. <laughs> Super! Okay, so moving on into some deeper stretches. So extend your left leg and with your right leg just bend the knee and bring your right ankle just on the outside of your right hip. Now this can be maybe intense for you enough here. So what you can do is just work on this posture. You want to have both of your sit bones touching the mat. Okay, so if that's the case you can move along what I want you to do is inhale, interlace your 10 fingers, and on the exhale, see if you can go grab your foot 
If you can't grab the foot, bend the left knee, okay? So the idea is always to bend from the hip, so it's kind of like, like folding a piece of paper. So you don't want to have any gaps between your thigh and your abdomen here. And if you're pulling on that foot and flexing that left foot, make sure your shoulders are staying nice and relaxed. And on an inhale, you can just stretch back up, letting the chest guide the movement. Exhale, bring the arms to the sides. So from here, let's see if we can explore things a little further. So if you'd like, only if you'd like and you feel comfortable, bend the left knee and bring the left foot on the mat. Interlace your 10 fingers and grab your left foot below the toes. And on the inhale, see if you can stretch that left leg up and out and maybe up towards the ceiling. So you're doing what you can here. Make sure that you're not compromising alignment. And exhale, bring the left foot down, extend the left leg, and you can gently extend the right leg. If you want to give your legs a little shake, you can do that before we move on to the next side. And then just bend the left knee. Make sure your left toes are pointing directly behind, no duck feet, okay? Inhale, stretch the arms up, and exhale, bend forward, grab the right foot. Now then again, make sure that both of your sit bones are on the mat. And if you're bending forward, you're trying to bend from the hips. So making sure that your abdomen is first touching your thigh and then moving on to the rest, and bending further and further, relaxing the shoulders as you gently pull on the right foot, flexing that right foot. Inhale, stretch up, come back up. Bring the arms out on the exhale. And if you did part B on the other side, let's do it here as well. So bending the right knee and interlacing your fingers, grab your right foot below the toes. And on the inhale, try to stretch out that right leg. Mm -hmm. Doing what you can, enjoying yourself, not taking yourself too seriously. Very, very important. <laughs> and on the exhale, you can just release, extend the right leg. Extend the left leg out again. Super. From here, we're going to go into Baddha Konasana. So it's like the sitting variation of what we did in the warm up, if you noticed. So interlace your 10 fingers, the palms of your feet are touching. And you're just with your 10 fingers interlaced, grabbing all your 10 toes. And you can do like a little rocking motion from left to right with your knees. Never swinging both knees together. I find that that's a little too violent. So. Um, and then you're just opening the knees. You know, there's a common saying, uh, no pain, no gain. Well, in yoga, what we want is no pain, no pain. <laughs> so you just want to feel the stretch, but respecting your limit. And if you're not quite sure what that is, well, you're in the right spot because that's what you're here to explore. If you feel like you can do more, you may want to just bend the upper body forward. Relax your head if that feels good. You can round the spine for this exercise. So in yoga and the asanas and the postures, it's always about going to your edge. And then when you've found that edge, which is the limit where you can breathe nicely through your nose, but you're feeling a stretch, and then you just stay there. That's the idea. Okay, so on an inhale, just come back up gently. Bring the knees together. You can just extend the legs. Okay, so we're gonna work a little bit our arms and just more like power moves from here. So I want you to bring your hands between your knees and your bum about halfway, stretching all 10 fingers out. And the idea here is I want you to push your bum up and see if you can either lift one leg at a time or maybe lift both legs mm -hmm, without your bum touching the ground and then just take a break. Okay, so we're gonna do this three times. <laughs> this is quite intense. So the motion you should be thinking about is pushing your shoulders away from your ears here. So inhale, lift the bum up and then just lift the legs, even if it's just one leg at a time that's great. So it's really working on the adductor muscles in the front part of your thigh. 
yeah <laughs> it's quite challenging I know okay one last time you guys so exhale inhale and what you can do it on the exhale actually lift your lift your bum up lift both of your feet up and just stay there for two seconds if you can okay and then release <laughs> it's also very challenging for me so you're not the only one working here now let's turn 90 degrees to the long edge of our mat and just stretch your legs out as much as you can here. Uh, if you feel like you're sort of rolling backwards, I recommend that you use a cushion and that you sit on a cushion to do this or a block even, okay? I want you to make sure that, you know, you're really sitting on your sit bones. So like almost like bringing the weight towards the inner part of your thigh. Make sure your feet are nice and flexed. That means your toes are pointing upwards. And on an exhale, just bring your hands forward and start walking your way, your upper body towards the mat, okay? So you might actually just be in standing position and this might be enough for you today. And that's totally fine. Uh, you guys need to know that, you know, for me, even just doing this, getting to this state, uh, has taken me quite a while. So patience, patience, patience. Yeah. Accepting your body as it is today. And there are some days where we can do a posture and the other day we're like, wow, we can't do it anymore, you know. And that's, that's it, you know, things change. It's all good. So what you're thinking about doing here is like sort of like bringing your, your pubic bone towards the mat. Okay, so you're really opening. You should be feeling it in the inside of, in the inside of your hips. And breathing through the nose. Very important energetic canal here going through our hips. So you might uh, you might feel various uh, when we're working in the hips. It's different for for, the, for each person. I mean, you can feel rather emotional or angry. It's completely normal. We hold a lot of tension in the hips naturally, just from sitting so long on chairs and not stretching sufficiently. Notice with your breath how you can actually go deeper and deeper, even if it's just a millimeter. Notice how when you relax the, using the breath, your body also responds to that and relaxes itself as well. One last nice inhale. And on the exhale, use your hands to walk yourself upwards. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna stretch our body sideways, lateral stretch. So your left elbow, you can just grab your left shin with your left hand, or if you feel like it, you can bring your left elbow inside of your uh, left leg because we're going to be slowly working our way into grabbing our left foot one day, as you can see with your thumb downwards, your pinky finger upwards. Now inhale, bring your right arm up, and I want you to look at the palm of your hand, palm of the hand facing the ground. And so here you want to keep both of your sit bones touching the mat as much as possible, and you're opening your chest, so you're imagining that your sternum um, is pointing towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Inhaling, stretching the spine. Exhaling, twist. If it's too intense for your neck, you can maybe just look towards the mat, the ground, towards your hand, if that's easier for you. Always adjusting the postures to your needs. You should be feeling a nice stretch on the right side of your body here. Just breathing into that tension. Telling your body it's okay to relax here. Let it go. So to get out of the posture, I want you to bend forward and go back into the center of the mat. And then you can inhale and work your way back up to sitting position. Let's do the right side, guys. So always do exactly the same movement you did on the other side. So whether it was your hand on your shin, 
do the same. For, for me, I was keeping my elbow inside of my leg, so I'm doing the same thing here. And as you inhale, bring the left arm up this time. Palm towards the mat, looking up towards the palm of my hand. And I'm really just trying to open my chest as much as possible, imagining my sternum is pointing towards the sky. So I'm feeling the stretch in the left side of my body, in my left rib cage. Oh, you guys are going to feel so free after doing this. I love the series. Often the first time we do these kinds of stretching is like very intense because we're not used to opening the body in that sort of way. But, oh, it's so wonderful, the sensation afterwards, just so liberating. <laughs> so just trust the process. And to get out of the posture, just roll forward into the center between your legs. And as you inhale, walk your hands back up and your body as well. Okay, last twist, you guys. So this time with your right hand, bring your right hand on the outside of your left uh, thigh, okay? So, yeah, start with your hand and then just work your way to see if your, can, your elbow can make its way on the outer part of your left leg. And then just stretch your left arm out and back. And as you inhale, try to stretch the spine up. And as you exhale, twist, do a nice twist. I, for me, I feel this posture really between my shoulder blades. It feels so good. Um, so I don't know where you're feeling it, but just I'm sure you, you've noticed by now. <laughs> okay, and on an exhale, let's unravel the spine, come back to center. And let's just do the other side. So again, maybe working your way from the hand and then sliding down to see if your elbow can make its way to the outside of your knee. Stretching the right hand back. And as you inhale, stretch the spine out. Extend the spine, and as you exhale, twist. Mm -hmm. So nice. Using the breath. And on an inhale, you can just come back to center. Yeah. Bring your legs together. <laughs> and we're just going to do like some windshield washer movements. So bending the knees and the hips from one side to the other to close those hips. And then you can just turn 90 degrees to your left facing the short end of your mat. And we're going to work on our shoulders and hips a bit of balancing. So place your hands behind your hips at about a forearm's distance, fingers pointing towards your feet, feet parallel, knees bent, inhale, and as you exhale, lift the hips up into reverse tabletop. And on the inhale, extend the legs, bring the hips back without touching the mat. Exhale, push back up into reverse tabletop. Inhale, extend the legs, push the hips back, and don't touch the mat. Exhale, push the hips up, lean back, reverse tabletop. Inhale, stretch the legs, hips back, and repeat. Exhale, hips up, chest up. Inhale, back into sitting, extend the legs without ever touching the mat. Exhale, push up, reverse tabletop. Inhale, come back. Extend the legs, exhale, push up, tabletop reversed, and on the inhale, come back into seating position and just extend the legs. If you need to shake out the wrists, you can do so. And from this position, I just want you to gently go into a lying down position. So I want you to bring your, tuck your tailbone in, and really one vertebrae at a time. This is a challenging exercise for me. It's an excellent exercise. So there shouldn't be any harsh movements. Okay, once you're lying down, make sure you're pushing your body towards your head so that your shoulder blades are 
stretch nice away from your ears and then just bring both knees towards your chest and give yourself a nice hug so if you can grab your elbows that's great if not just grab your forearms grab your wrists inhale and as you exhale bring the knees towards the chest try to flatten all of the spine until your tailbone even you're looking towards your navel so that even your upper spine your neck cervical spine is touching the mat okay so now you can just release the right leg keep the left knee uh, tucked to your chest with your ten fingers interlaced just grab below the knee and again pull gently the knee towards your chest keeping the right leg extended right foot flexed looking down towards the center line of your body stretching out your shoulders so that they hopefully touch the mat and gently as you exhale release the left leg and bring the right leg in towards your chest and with your ten fingers interlaced just gently pull your leg towards your chest keeping the left leg extended left foot flexed shoulders away from the ears shoulders toward the mat your neck touching completely on the mat one day looking down towards the center line of your body and on an exhale release both legs because it is time for shavasana relax your shoulders just let them melt into the mat relax your entire body and also relax the attention and what I mean by that is that if at this stage of the class thoughts are still coming to mind relax with that and rather than trying to control it just look at the thoughts as if they were clouds in the sky if you are aware of your thoughts that also means that who you are is not the thought but rather that which is aware of the thinking and if you can understand that with your heart you are automatically completely free Gently, gently, gently. Start moving your fingers. Moving your toes. If you feel the need or you'd like to stretch your body, take the time to do so. <laughs> and slowly turn onto your right side take a small pause here and then slowly come up to sitting position and bring your hands to your heart center om shanti 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 May you find peace within, peace within your family, 
May the universe also be at peace. Great class, everybody. See you soon.